Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thank you very much for joining me today. So we're going to be doing something slightly different in that I, I apologise I didn't do a stream on Monday and some stuff I had to sort out was then. However, I thought I'm going to make it up to you and we're going to try something a little bit different. So normally what we do when we do these sessions is usually they're about an hour. Sometimes we've had the odd two hour one and those have been great fun. It's It's been the equivalent of, you know, when you pop into town or maybe it's just me. Where I've, I only went into town to buy, I don't know, a spatula or something and you end up heading home at around two o'clock in the morning because you bumped into some friends and you ended up going down the pub and, and you know this story so you know we had we had some twitch equivalents of that where you know we set out to do x and then we discovered y and lo and behold two and a half hours later we materially we call it a day but anyway today slightly different what we're going to be doing today is having a long session so I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to hang around for a few hours. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the mood and the day takes us. But we're going to spend a day. So I have nothing particularly prescribed in the sense of we're going to explore X. This is very much, uh, you know, an us session. So what I'm going to do and what you've probably noticed is I've got this sort of list to ooh, wrong way, camera wrong way around this way. You see a list. I've got a list here above me. So I'm going to be taking notes. So those are some of the things that I'm thinking about I want to do. So I want to do a general tidy of what we've got because we explored different things and we went, oh, that's cool. And then kind of left it and went back. So what I want to do is clear some of it up. I've also been a bit of a bad citizen with regards to keeping the address at the top, the repo up to date. So for those of you who are regulars, you know, I write up what we did during the session and the rationale and things. So I've been a bit bad with that. So, you know, Slapping the wrist for me, but I'm going to update that during this session today. So we're going to be here for a while. So again, please dip in, dip out. It's all good. Or, you know, just keep me running in the background. If you've got questions, ask them. I'm keeping an eye on the chat. So anything that pops up, if you've got a query, I am more than happy to go off and explore. So if you've got a modeling question, not a problem. We'll spend some time. We'll go talk about that. If you've got a question about importing data on the wine data set, not a problem bring it up we'll go off and explore so this is very much an hour session so there's a few things I want to explore undoubtedly there's going to be a few things that you want to explore so pop them in the chat and we'll have fun oh my goodness so let's have a look at the list of notes ah, ah, ah. so yes yeah, so there's things that I want to do um so the really fun thing that we kind of left off on was we imported the location data so let's have a look at the schema that I've brought up here so if you recall I we we had this long old debate didn't we about the fact that we had region one then region two then province then province went to country then we had this really interesting thing that um you had winery and winery wasn't necessarily pinged to region one or region two so I had this whole thing i'm really excited so um so alex had just pinged in the chat saying uh, new new mic sounds great yeah i have a new microphone it's really exciting well i'm really excited because it glows red uh it's supposed to make me sound good as well but i like that it glows red i mean that that's winning if, if well, you, you can see what's a really easy way to sell stuff to me. You know, it has all these fancy specs. Oh, that's nice. It glows red. Oh, yeah, I'm sold. That's it. You know, I'll have one of those. But anyway, yes. So I'm really excited. So we had a look at the uh, location. And the really interesting thing that we found with location was that we had this thing where we had a lot of repetition. So let me, let's bring up one of those and I've misplaced my queries, which is rather frustrating. Now let me just see if I can find those. Otherwise I, I roughly remember what we were looking at and I think I may even have a copy of them somewhere. Let me have a quick look. No, I don't. Okay, no, so I think, I believe if I just quick, we have a look at no 
um, okay, that's no problem. I have the notes, presumably they're on my other laptop. I know, too many laptops. Laptop management's terrible. So that's fine, but I roughly remember what happened. So if we do this quickly, and let's look at some wines and the region down to province. So let's do that. So we'll bring a few of those up. So we have many, many wines, so I'm not gonna bring them all up, but let's just do, uh, let's match. And then ones from the region. One. We'll come up with better terminology for these, but for now, this does nicely. And this is the nice thing about today. We can have a play and how we're going to deal with this stuff and decide what we do next. I'm really excited about the new microphone comment. I'm glad it makes a difference. I just like it because it glows red, but yeah, that's cool. I guess the question is, can you hear the boiler in the background when it goes off? That, that's the real test of the microphone. If you can't hear the boiler, then you know what, I'm sold. This, this is great. Uh, region two. And then we want to go to province. From province. And I'm not going to bother with country. I think we can leave country out, can't we? Oh, what am I doing? I'm confusing stuff, aren't I? That's all right. It's it's Friday morning. I'm allowed. I'm allowing myself. So we're just doing this. We're going from wine to region one to region two to province. I'm not going to bother with country. We'll leave. Actually, no, I'm going to bring in country because we had the situation where we had the country was the same as the province. So uh, let's let's pop country in as well. Why not? You know, let's let's be com let's be competing and all that. So. Country, right, and let's give you some examples of what we saw. So we had situations where region one and region two were the same. So let's bring back some of those. So yeah, region one dot name is equal to region two dot name. And we're going to return, not worried about the wine, that's of, of not interest at the moment. Right. So region one dot name, region two dot name. Let's bring back the province dot name and the country dot name. So you'll probably see some of these, no country, no province, that's fine. That's just where we had blanks in our import data and we just didn't know what to do. So we thought, you know what, we want to continue, continue that link for now. We may change that if we create the model, but for now, let's just keep that. So let's have a quick look at what happened. And I'm going to order this by uh, region one dot name. Why not? Let's keep it like that. So let's see what happens. I get an error because I forgot to put buy in, badly. So let's just try and take a copy of that query. Okay, so just give me two seconds whilst I take a note of this and I'm going to be a good citizen. I'm gonna, I'm writing up these changes as we do them. I think it's Friday, so we did this one. So we have this, you can see straight away, we have this central coast, California. Oh my goodness, 5,600. So this would suggest, if we go back to our data model so we can see what's going on here, is we're getting a lot of this, these repeats because we've got these wines, so you've got loads and loads of wines. So you're gonna have loads and loads of paths. So you've got that start path going on there. So that's why we have all these central coast, central coast, because these are all gonna be different wines. And I wonder if these are all from the same winery. We can have a look in a bit. Uh, so actually, no, let, let's do it now. Let's look at the, the wineries now. But you can see here, we have a lot of these. We've got 5,612 5, records where the region one and region two are the same. So straight away, we can just sit there going, that's crazy. We can probably get rid of some of those. So. <laughs> riddle me this how do we know which one's which that's going to be the fun part of today where we try to figure out some method to put those in a sensible ordering oh i love these kinds of questions they're great fun so my proof of head copy copy i might have to get one later another one but it's all good so okay so we've got this 
and so that's that's a fun one and we talked we spoke before that we also had the situation where region two was the same as the, the province so let's have a quick peek at that as well so let's see p dot name i'm going to return them all of them by r hmm. oh no we didn't have that one that's okay so i think we had one where we i think province and country may have been this i know r1 so region one and province my apologies so let's do that for the word region one i don't think we had as many of these but we did have some there you go oh sorry <laughs> we didn't have some. <laughs> 9,500 odd. Okay, we've got quite a few of those. Oops. Ah, so if we like these, these are fun. So, all right. So we've got some of those. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do, do with that. So I guess our problem statement. So let's, let's, let's write up our problem statement number one. Ooh, let's spell problem statement correctly. So... And we can jot down the stats as well as we go along. So we have got um, R1 is equal to R2. And we've got some 5,612 records of that. We had the situation where R1 is equal to P. We have some 9,500. It's a crazy number of those, isn't it? We have 9,592. Two of those. What about oh yeah, in the no region two, this was where we just had the, the gaps in the data. So that's fine. Then we had the other fun one. Oh, and we had all of the like the bunching of things in there as well. So we have all of this good fun. So we're gonna have a good think about how we're gonna solve all of this. Oh, it's gonna be a great adventure. Hmm. So what else did we want to look at? So we had what do we have, what about, um, what's about where we've got region one is equal to country? Let's, let's have a look at that. Do we have any of those suspects in the mix? Hello, hello, good afternoon, Ag Agnuswa. How's it going? Thank you for joining us. So, okay, look at this. So we've got one where we've got region is the same as country. Okay, fine. So we need to do something about that. We have this this other the province. So I think that's another one we need to look at. How many others? So let me just take a note of that. Um, can't spell today. How often does other appear? And we've got. Uh, so we're saying that R one is equal to country. That happens. 1,049 1, times. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Okay, great. So we've got that. Region, so we've seen we've got region is the same as, lots of cases region is the same as country, lots of times region is the same as province, lots of times region is the same as the other region. We've got other, so let's have a look at other in a second. Um... <laughs> So have we missed any? So we've done we've 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 cycled through all of those. I think we've got where province is equal to country. Let's quickly do that one as well. And we're gonna order this by province. So how how bad is that? Oh the big whirly. Although admittedly we could have probably uh I've I've done so when I've done the numbers here. These are by the wine, just in case you're going, those are crazy numbers. So if we took the wine out, they're probably going to not be as many of those. Or if we did like distinct, so um, th this will make sense in a bit, I think. Right, that's going to take too long and I'm impatient, so I'm going to kill that query. So, okay, right, so I'm going to get rid of wine because I think that confuses the matter slightly here. So let me just get rid of this because I don't think it this is causing unnecessary confusion so if I run this again this will be a much lower number which makes sense oh 
Okay, yeah, so you see forces, so it's not crazy, so it's, I I, Matt, perhaps I was unnecessarily scaring you all about the, the impact, but we're starting to get a flavour of what's going on. So what I'm interested in is this other, so how often does other appear? And last time we were looking at this, we had this really interesting thing where you get things like this, and this might either be one region or two regions. So we saw this quite clear with the California ones where like a bunch of, regions have been put together and we're going well actually there should probably be three separate nodes so we'll have a look at that like sicily and sardinia i mean i'd argue they should be two separate nodes so we're gonna have an interesting thing about how we sort these out but that's okay that's all good this is all part of that journey right so let's have a look at other because like, now i'm intrigued as to how many others they've got so where Um, how are we going to do this? Let's do it like this. So where? Uh, let, let's go broad brush and grab all of them. So let's do. Yes, I'm just trying to think what's the best way of doing this actually. Ah, let's just keep it as a chain. So this again, this might give a false sense of, of, of the number, but bear with me on this. So let's go with uh, where R1 dot. Let's just pick one of these just as, a, as an example. Contains other. And I'm, I, I think it's fairly safe to assume here that they all have, they're all uh, upper comma case. Okay, so California and other, just as an example, so we have this region one, but we have the... Oh, this is not at all confusing. Look at this! Look at this! Well, I'm confused now. We've got a region that says California and other. Now, bearing in mind that these are chains, yeah? So that we're connected from uh, region one to region two to the province name, to the country name. And we have this situation where we've got California other, we've got no region two. Okay, fair enough. We've got Limnos. Oh, hang on a minute. I mean, I, I can, I'm feeling fairly confident that doesn't sound very Canadian. And then we've got country of Greece. So I have no idea what's going on there. Well, that's a bit, you know what? So today I was sitting here thinking, right, we're going to clear up some loose ends and, you know, and, and answer some cool questions. But we've just discovered a, an absolute corker with, with the data. Right. You know what this means? We, we now have to have a look at what's going on in the data. So we'll have a look in the CSV. So let's just quickly pull this out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take i'm just trying to think what's the best way of taking a note of this because i you know i'm going to take i'm going to take a copy of this query so that and i'm going to quickly write myself a note about this so one moment please so take a note of what query i took so when i well, well when we write this up together which we will um yeah how strange so let's have a quick look at how many uh, this is um, province, isn't it? So how many provinces or things have we got connected to Limos and province? Because then we can see if this is going to be a quick thing to look up. So I'm just going to cheat a little bit. And I'm just going to put it in here. So I'm going to say name is Limnos. And let's return everything to see how big the data we're looking at okay quite a lot um yeah this is where i'm starting to get a little bit confused because these don't really sound ah uh, i know what's gone wrong I know what's gone wrong now. It's the no region two. 
So let me bring up the data model and then you'll see what I mean. And I think we're gonna to have to re-import the data. I, I think I've made a bit of a boo-boo with my assumptions here. It's fine. It's, it's fairly straightforward for us to correct it. Still sad though, I didn't think about it. So remember we've got this chain and you remember we said if there's no region, you know, if we if there was a null value for no region, then what we would do is we would say, give it a node called no region. So what's happened now, uh, you're thinking ahead, is that it's connected things to no region. And as a result of connecting things to no region, it's uh, we're having places now being artificially connected to other provinces. So you've got like, let me let me drop a diagram to show you what is going on. So you're going to see my gorgeous um, Arrows Christmas tree in a second. That's another story. Um, I, I was, no, I didn't want that. Um, uh, no, that's the, I want this. So this is my, so for those of you who fancy a bit of a Christmas challenge, I'm going a bit off. Uh, I I was I realised that you could probably draw Christmas trees in bloom, so have a go with that. So that was me just having a go at drawing Christmas trees first. Let's just clear this. Ah, okay, right. So let me explain what's going on. So what we've got here is let's say let's call this a country node. Uh, say Greece, and let's have another country node called US. We've got California, so country name, United States, so I've got them in US of A. So we've got our two country nodes. So good so far. I'm just gonna make this a bit easier to see what's going on. Okay, so we've got our two country nodes. And what's basically happened here is we had a couple of region nodes, and this is where my location was Greece. I'm just gonna say we have Athens. Yeah, why not? So let's say we've got region, I'm going to stick with region, and name is, let's say, Athens. And we've got another region. And let's say this is Napa. Napa Valley. So we've got our two regions. And what's happened is, for whatever reason, we didn't have a province for these, so let's say uh, they didn't put in a province for what part of Greece um, this region is, and we didn't put in a region for Napa Valley, so that's probably like California. So we've got, oh, there's null data in the spreadsheet, therefore what we're going to do is we're going to create one called uh, no province. And what's happened is this has happened. Uh, oh, there's no, no, no province, I'm now going to merge onto this node. But I know from the data that this is associated to Greece. And I'm going to go, well, I've got, I've, you know, I've got a, um, no, I've got a null for this, so I'm going to put it to no province. And I know this is part of California. Ooh, don't do this. It's part of uh, the United States. And that's what's happened. So that's exactly what's happening in our data. So let's have a quick think about what we're going to do about this. Ooh, so we've got a couple of options. Well, we know how we've linked the data that there is a direct connection between Athens and Greece. And we know how we've connected the data between, uh, this is on for the data and that is that we're going to connect them two together there. So the only thing we need to, actually, no, we don't need to worry about it. So what we can do is anywhere where we've got a no province or a no region one or no region two, I think we can safely not worry about that. And all we say is we just jump across to the data that we do know. So it's it, it looks bad, but it's not a disaster, if that makes sense. OK, so just that we're aware of that. So we can see what's going on there. So we just need to handle it. That's all good. It's all right. It just means we end up with uh, an avoidable expense of queries in certain instances. But that's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are joining in, if you've got any questions, just pop them in the chat. I'm very happy to uh, answer any questions as we go along. So feel free to. I'm just going to quickly drop my blind because I'm being blinded by the winter light. Right. Okay, that's better. So, right, okay. This is fun. Ooh. So we've got something how to deal with. Okay, so we've got that. So we, we had the others thing we need to deal with. 
other, 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 other. And so I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I want to do something about this no region two thing because that is wrong. So let's do an update to the query. So what I think we're going to do is, hmm, I kind of want to create, okay, so this, I think this is what we're going to do. So I think we established that everything has at least a region one. So we don't have a situation where there's no region one. So let's just quickly test that. So I've got a question here. How does data streaming work? Does it also notify change? Uh, could you, how do you mean, um, Agonin's work? Could you give me an example? What do you mean by that? So let's have a look around do we let's see how many things we've got where it's like a no so let's do uh, match region one where r dot main equals no I, I think we don't have any of these but let's just double check no region one return star do we have any no region one? Oh, we do oh no okay so Okay, that's no problem. I think we said that there's either um, there's either no region one or no region two, but no, where is none of the above? So let's have a look. Ah, so if I, I mean, if I have a user, let's say some properties change, change, does it notify? So not automatically, but we do have triggers. So if I, let's quickly, ah, let me, Switch over here. We've got triggers in Near4j APOC. So APOC is a plugin that you can set up. And what we have, if I can see it somewhere, I'm going to just search for it. So I do triggers. There we go. So just jump into that part of the documentation. You can set up triggers. So what you can do is you can set up um, database behaviors that you want to happen based on certain situations. Another thing, actually, just um that twigged with me so another thing you can do as well is we do have a kafka adapter so we've got a uh, i think it's, we call it near stream so we've got a kafka adapter and with that you can set up things so you can subscribe your database to a topic and you can do one of two things so you can either have topics um sort of information messages ingested from a kafka queue so let me just bring up near and kafka There we go let's bring up this page so you can do a couple of things so you can either set up sort of the the ingestion so you can have your kafka uh, queue of messages and you set it up so when new stuff appears in that topic they will get picked up by the database and then stuff happens the other option you have as well is you can uh, set it up in such a way so again you have anything that changes in the database you can then push to an, a kafka topic so I hope that's answered your question. So you've got a couple of options, either near for j triggers on the database if you want the database to be behave in a certain way when stuff happens there. But also if you're looking at a wider ecosystem setup, so if you're looking at near for j as part of a greater setup in your uh, architecture, then yes, you can use Kafka to behave either to sync events or to stream events. So hopefully, hopefully that answered your question there. Oh, okay, so we have a no region one. So let's just check the situation. I don't think it happens where you've got a region one and region two. I believe we checked this the other day, but let's let's be thorough and check this. So R2, region two, where that just made it a bit easier to read. And R2.name equals no region two return start i don't think we've got any of these i hope we don't have any of these there we go right so we always have either a region one or a region two and then there may be some no provinces and there may be some no countries okay so what i think so no country I, i'm not so worried about that's fine for now but i want us to do something about this no region one so what i propose we do so let's bring back the examples where we have no region one 
Oh, you know what? I should just remove that three as well, just to. So let's do this. And what I'm going to return is r1.name, which we know is going to be no region one, and r.2, which we know should have a name. And what we'll find, and this is, we're going to have loads of these, so don't worry too much. So, oh, that's exciting. Oh, what did I do wrong here? Ah, okay, so we have a node in the database. We don't actually have any data in our database that matches that situation. Actually, no, from region two, that's where I went wrong. Sorry, spoke too soon. Oh dear, right, one sec. And... Oh, when you're making a squ query, it shows started streaming. What's in that? Right, I see what you mean. So what happened, so it's less relevant here because we're doing this in the F4J browser, but this is just basically what happens is, is that the database can start to stream back some of the records, even though it's not completely completed the query, if that makes sense. So as soon as it starts finding records that matches the query, it can start pushing those. So in certain situations, it can just start pouring out results as it's looking for other results, if that makes sense. So that's what it means there with regards to streaming. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Let's have a look at what have I done here. So we said, yes, this exists. So let's bring back the province as well. So how many of these do we actually have? How big is this problem? Uh, province. Ah, province, how big is this problem? All right. Oh, oh, P dot name. So it could be that, uh, how big is this? Oh, wow. Okay. Awkward. This is not a problem. This is not a problem. It looks scary, but it's not actually a problem. Okay, so we've got a bunch of wines where we just go straight into province. So we've got wine, province, and then country. So, yeah, yes. Um, yes, you can do streaming with the drivers. Okay. Ooh. How are we going to deal with this? I don't really want to do a direct relationship between them. And I don't really want to. Actually, let's, let's do this. This isn't pretty. It's not perfect. But I think just for working, I'm going to repeat this. Uh, I'm going to take whatever the province name is. And I'm going to repeat it in the region, na both region names so that we've got a path. So it's going to be region name, region name, region name. And the rationale behind it is that... We're going to do some work on this, and this is kind of work in progress. I'm kind of like playing with this in, in, in my head, but we can keep repeating the name over and over and over. So at least we know we've got like the provenance of where this comes from. And we may inadvertently catch reg, you know, region one or region two that already has that name in there. So hopefully this will make sense in a bit, but we're gonna add a property into the Actually, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do it like this because it, it's easy. We can always dump the data and start again. So let's do that. So what I want to do where... Let's do it like this, actually, where R1, R name is equal to R2. Oh, no. No, no, that's wrong. Can't do that. And... R two dot name is equal to. Actually, no. We can do this in passes. 
we can do this in path group because it doesn't we're not worried about region 2 that name because we'll fix that one later so i'm going to do this so i think we're saying here we don't have any Yeah, so we're displaying all the records. And what you can see here in all the records, it's always, if there's no region one, there is no region two. Let's just double check that. Order by r2.name. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think we can make that assumption here. So let me just... Okay, so let's just uh, set the name. So what we're going to do is set our dot name is going to be equal to province dot name. So I'm just doing that so that we can link, 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 link. So oh no, we can't do this. No, no, I can't do that. So what I, what we need to do? We're going to detach this node. So we're going to do. Uh, we need to bring in wine with us as well. Cornwall one. Oh, I think the relay bot's gone a bit crazy. I'm sorry if you're getting um, hit with with messages. Let me have a look what's going on and see if it's if it's happening in the Twitch channel. Oh dear. Oh no, it's not happening. One, sorry about this. I've just noticed that in my little chat window, it, it keeps repeating stuff over and over. So oh no, it's all good. It's just my one so that is good everything else it is all great okay so let's sort this out Doo -doo -doo. right okay so what we need to do is if i go back to my handy diagram so what we're going to need to do is we're going to be detaching this node here, which is no region. And then what we're going to do is we're going to merge wine onto the node that has the same name as province. And then we're going to reattach it onto region two. Now, I kind of want to... Oh, no, it is going crazy in the... Oh, no, it's not. It's good. Uh, so what I kind of want to do here... Uh, is then we have region two, but that's fine. We're going to leave it for now. So we'll rehook it onto this. So we're going to follow it in a sort of programmatic way, even though we could have probably done a few short steps, shortcuts, but that's okay. All right, so we've got wine from region. So we don't actually need to do wine, I just realised, because it's going to be connected into region one. Actually, no, we do. No, we do. We do, we do, we do. Sorry. Because wine is connected to no region, so that's because we're disconnecting this node here where it's no region and then reconnecting it. So let's have a look how many of these we've got. And I'm going to return how wine. How big is the problem that we're looking at? Survey says. I said return twice. Try again. Oh, okay. Yeah, this makes sense. Don't don't be scared by the crazy number. That's because there's lots of different paths it can go down. Hello, Detox Mango. I love your name. Okay. 
detox mango. I want some mango now. Forget the wine. Uh, right, so let's have a look. So, okay, so we've got that crazy number. That's fine. I'm just going to quickly take a look at this query so I remember when I write this up what we were doing. Ah, okay, right. Uh, how do we not get a crazy number for this? You may indeed ask random questions. Please do. I will try to answer them. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, this is going to be... Okay, so we want this bit, the query, and then we're going to match the province. Am I a data scientist? No, I am not a data scientist, but I can certainly have a go at answering any questions that you might have. I might be able to help with them. So... Uh, do do give a go. I'll either be able to answer them or I won't be able to answer them, but go for it. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got to detach this one and we've got loads. So how many, let's have a look at how many nodes have we got in this scenario where it's just going into region one with no um, chat. Okay, so you've got 21,000 wines that meet that category. So how can we do this in a an, an elegant way? Hmm. So, oh, hang on, the restream bot's going a bit crazy. Let me just see if I can get it stopped. Right, okay, so we've got this common anti problem. So I'm just trying to think what's a nice way of fixing it. So we know that it points to no region two and we've got province. So let's do so. Why is it so many? This is the thing that I don't quite understand, and I'm just trying to wrap my head around is why does that path when we looked at to just no region one, we get 21,000 wines. But if we do, if we do uh, just, uh, if we go up to province, and we've already established that there's only one path or have we between region one and region two? Let's, let me have a quick look at that because there's something a bit suspicious about this. So if I just go down to region two, let me get rid of the province bit. What is our count? Where is our cardinality coming from? Yep, so it's that as well. So uh, I know what it is because it's because no region is going multiple different times to provinces where we do have value. So that that's why it's going a bit crazy. That makes sense. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do to fix this. Oh, that's that's really cool, Deto um, Detox Mango. So you were reading a paper about attack investigation systems. What paper was that? Could you drop the title in the chat? I'm quite intrigued now. Always good to see that. Oh, okay, so... I'm wondering whether it's quicker to just re drop the res uh, relationship between just and re-import it because I'm wondering if this is going to be a messy problem. Have they read any papers on finance? Uh, not academic papers. I will have seen specifically on acad academic papers. I I've seen the odd sort of papers on the implication of uh, tracking that kind of thing, like white papers, but not research papers. Ah, what are we going to do? 
Brilliant. Okay, so for those of you who are curious about uh, Detox Mango's paper that he read, it was uh, AIQL, Enabling Efficient Attack Investigation from System Monitoring Data. Thank you very much for that. I will have a look at that later. Okay, right, let's have a look at how we're going to deal with this. I'm just trying to think what to, because what we're doing now, we've got this cardinality problem now happening, which is why we've got that huge number. So I think what we need to do is we're going to have to get rid of everything that's got no region, no country, oh, sorry, no region, no province, no whatever, and, and re-import that. So let's let's have a go at that now. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Uh, well, I guess okay, with regards to papers, I think that's quite a broad question. So I think the best thing I can ask um, Detox Mango is what subjects are you interested in? So what sort of areas would you want to look at? And maybe that's probably the better way to suggest stuff. And also, what are you looking to learn? Are you looking to learn specifically around graphs? Are you looking at something specifically within graphs or are you looking at the various graph algorithms, for example? So uh, let me know what kind of stuff are you looking to learn and then we can certainly suggest some material to help you on your way around that. So if you do that, then yeah, suggest those and we can have a little think whilst we can take a little detour whilst we uh, have a think about that. So. Let me know what exactly, what areas of interest that you want to learn around, but we can suggest some stuff. I was going to... Oh, so you're interested in markets and things. Uh... Oh, I see. Right, that's, that's probably outside my area of expertise, I'm afraid, but I can help on the question, um, various graphy type stuff. But arbitrage is an interesting one. So it's probably not specific to the kind of uh, arbitrage you're looking at. So I did do some stuff in finance years ago. I used to do back end finance uh, data systems, but there was uh, there is a really great example. Let's see, maybe later in the day, I'll try and dig it out. There's a really great example where a former colleague used uh, graphs to look at arbitrage between FX, which was quite fun. So remind me, maybe I'll be able to dig that out a bit later to see if I can find that. All right, onto this. So uh, with a heavy heart, I'm going to get rid of our region data up to, to uh, country because there's obviously something very weird going on there. So I'm going to detach all of these nodes and then we're going to re-import that data and correct this. So this is a bit of a bug that we need to sort out but that's fine we can fix that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to detach all of this stuff and then we're going to try again okay so we have region one region two and i'm only going to do the ones where actually no, i'm going to i'm going to get rid of all of it let's not beat around the bush it's broken ah uh, let's do that so Bum, bum, bum. from province and country oh this makes me so sad but it's okay oh I forgot to put a node in the province So the only thing I can say, Detox Mango, is uh, with regards to looking at papers and things and what you're looking to, to learn. So I know I've not done formal stuff in, in finance, so I can't 
help you specifically around that. I would suggest have a look in places like Coursera and edX. They've got a load of finance courses. So have a look at what they've got on there. And they're really, you know, they tend to be really great things. If you've got any specific graphy questions, so anything around graphs and queries or learning about graphs, if, you, if that's an area of interest, let me know and I can point out some relevant links around that. So, I see country. And with a heavy, heavy, heavy heart, I'm now going to get rid of those links. So, let's do this course R1. We're going to call this R2. We're going to call this R. Oh. We don't need those anymore, so we can get rid of those. I'm going to call this R3. I'm going to call this R4. Right, let's get rid of these so we don't confuse ourselves. And we're going to drop all of those relationships with a heavy, heavy heart. We're going to get rid of those. So we're going to do delete R1, R2, R3. Oh, Actually, let's do these in sections. Yeah, let's do these in sections. It's not the most elegant way of updating the data, I do apologise. It does the job. Very slowly. It does the job. I could have written this prettier, maybe I will do when I do the write up, but for now I just want to get it done. So, attaching everything, detach, detach, oh, deleting all the relationships between the notes. And the last customer province for each country. And we're going to go back to the drawing board about how we're going to swarm those in. Well, I appreciate it's It's good to look at all those videos, but I think you, you think about how long it takes for somebody to, to study something. You know, it can take years and years. So you've got to keep practicing. Um, details I mean finance and, and sort of those levels of stuff is quite detailed takes a lot of investment of time all right so we've removed those all those connections so sad it's all good and but what we can do now is just think about joining these back in uh it's not so Joshua it's a great question it's not a limitation of the tool um how, how can I how, how can I put it? I'm just being lazy with my queries. So I know the quickest way for me to do that, as in without thinking about an elegant query, is to do it like that. The reason why I couldn't just have that long path and delete the relationships between is because we've got... I mean, maybe I could have done, actually. I reckon I probably could have done. Maybe I should have tried it. But it's just because you've got potentially some Cartesian uh, connections going on. It, you know, it could make it unnecessarily complicated. So maybe we could have done it, but I did it like that because I knew it was going to, without testing it, it was going to do exactly what I wanted to do. But I probably could have written a pretty query and done that all in one in one um, fell swoop, but I was lazy. I just thought quickly. So when I do the write-up, so you can see I've got the link at the top, I will think about doing a prettier, more elegant solution. This was like the, the uh, you know, sort of get out the hammer and just go bash, 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 bash. Okay, right, so we've removed all of those. So now we've got to think about how we're going to re-import this data. And let's go, let's nip over to, to the repo, because as you all know, I am I like to be efficient with my query writing. I will just reuse something I have used before. So this is what I'm going to use. Yeah, so uh Dimaggio, that's exact that's pretty the Dimag Dimago 
no, I'm sorry, I, I really apologise if I've butchered your name. Um, Domagoria, yes. Uh, that's pretty much what I've done to some extent, but I just did it in increments just in case. So again, as you all know, I am I, I'm efficient with career writing, so I'm just going to copy this bit of the query uh, so that I can do my loads. And let's just remind ourselves of what the data looks like. So let's do uh, with row limit five return row. So you can see what we're looking at. Oh, what have I done? We're not don't need. To, we're not writing anything. So I don't, that's why it's complaining about that. I'm merely opening up that data and having a look at what's in there. So it's it's a bit of a pause because it's having to download the data from GitHub, which is why it's a bit slow. So you remember, you, you know, as a quick remember, this is what it looks like. And oh, look, we've got a great example here where we've got a region one of null. So what I'm going to propose is the following. We're probably going to have to do some kind of conditional testing here. And I'm just trying to think what's the best way of doing this. Ah, this is going to be, oh yeah, I know how I'm going to do this. I know how I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to do, so I do several passes of the import anyway. So I'm going to do multiple passes of the import. But what I'm going to do is I can use a concatenate, not concatenate, um, coalesce, and I can put lots of things in. So we can put it in order of preference of what we want to put in for that node if we don't have that information. So I think that's probably going to be the best way of how we're going to tackle this. So... Let's do that then. So we are going to do something along the lines of, did I write this up? If I didn't, I am a bad, bad person. All right, I think I did write this up, but I may have had a bit of a, I thought I had started write, writing up some of this stuff about location. Oh, let me have a quick look in my, no, I did not. I, I, I'm sorry, I must have these up in notes somewhere. I can't find my notes right now, but. Don't worry, it's all good. I will write these up again, so it's all good. So we are going to have something along the lines of, and this is where we do want our periodic commits. So we are going to do something in the lines of, find, we have to find the wine. So we are going to do with row. Actually, no, let's do, how do I want to do this? Match um, wine. Now we're going to use the internal ID. Uh, let's do oh, it's ID, I believe we called it, and it's row dot ID make sure i uh, do you remember last time i did this and it was going slow and it's because i forgot to index an id and not the wine title i put I index an id not the wine title and i was looking for the wine title yeah, yeah yeah okay cool so we're going to match the wine id so that's how we find our wine which we've already uh, imported and then what we're going to do is merge we're going to do region one so our region one Merge region one, and that's going to be name. I do know that. And this is where we're now going to use the coalesce. So we are now going to do coalesce. And this is going to be our gigantic coalesce statement. We are going to do region one, which is what we want. Oh, row that region one. If region one doesn't exist, we're going to coalesce region two which we know will also not exist but that's okay we don't we're gonna be completist here that's a word you know what i mean so row one region row, region two region two doesn't exist we're then going to use the province should province not exist we're going to use country 
So let's do, I think it's just called country, isn't it? Row dot country. And should misfortune of the greatest proportion befall on us, and we don't even have country, then we're just going to put in no country. Oh, no, no data. No, no data. There we go. That is the fact of the matter. So that's what's happening there. So we are now creating our region node. So what we're doing, so coalesce basically sticks everything together and obviously it will stick nothing with nothing. And if we've got nothing and something, then it's going to stick nothing and something together. So actually, yeah, so it, it, it basically it doesn't stick them together. Sorry, it picks the first one that is not null. So we're putting our orders of preferences here. So preference one is region one, then region two, then province and country, then no data. And then when we've finally done that, then we are going to join one to region one. And then we're going to do create. And the reason why I'm using create and not merge here is because all of the wines are unique. Therefore, we just use a create because we know. So from region one, And that's going to be R1. Okay, so let's just double check what's going on here. So periodic commit because we're doing the file. Um, pulling the file, we've got loads of rows. So we're going to match the wine. And I think I need to put in a with. Well, complain if I need to put one in. So matching the wine, then merging the region from our data. And then we're going to create wine from region one. All good. Oh. That would have been painful from region one one and let me just check i actually spelt that correctly because i know what i'm like yeah all good right so let's see if i missed anything so coalesce close bracket 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 right let's see what happens oh and we are off okay give that a couple of moments and then we're going to repeat the same activity with region two and oh, that was quick. Right, that was pleasingly quick. OK, right. So let's do the same activity with region two. So we still need to map match the wine ID. We're then going to do region two. I should just keep, keep calling it R1. Bad, bad coding. We need region two, and then same idea. We are going to use, we want to do region two. And what I'm going to say here is if we don't have a region two, we're going to default back to region one, which we know this needs to but we're just being complete. Then we're going to go to province, then we're going to go to country, and then we go to no data. So that's what's happening for region two. Now here comes the fun bit, which is how do we tie up region two to, to wine, given that we've got region one in the middle. So how are we going to tie this up? I should know, do we need to? No, I think we now, what we do is we're going to match. Can we correct? Yes, we can. So what we can do is we can match region two. So in fact, let's change this region two. Sorry, this will make sense in a bit. I promise. I promise, promise, promise. Let me write this out and then I will talk through my thinking and that would be a merge. So what we're going to do is we're going to match region one and we're going to match it based on our coalesce condition. So we're going to do R1 region. Oh no, just trying to confuse myself here aren't I? Region one, and we're going to do that on the name, and we're going to use the same. Uh, nice to meet you too, Detox Mango. Good luck in your studies. I'm going to copy this. Yes, let's do this. So I'm just going to borrow this argument here and obviously this is going to be region one region two okay right so 
what am I doing? What 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 is this crazy thinking that I'm going through? So with this is kind of a bit of an expensive query, but that's fine. It should run reasonably quickly. So what we're doing here is we've already connected wine to region one. So now what we want to do is connect region one to region two. So we're using the same argument before. So basically we coalesce to the first thing that we hit. And then we're going to connect it to region two. And again, it will hit things. So in this example here, if we had no region for region one, no region for region two, and then we had province. So region one is going to be province. And then we're going to connect it to province again. And then probably going to end up connected to province yet again. But anyway, that's what's going on. So let's do that. Oh, that would have been expensive. So let's say so we're matching region one as per how we just created it. We're then going to merge the region two node and then we're going to connect uh, merge region one to region two because there may be many of these so let's do that and then we're going to hook up province and then country so interesting A bit concerned that we created 13, 1400 nodes. Well we'll, well, we'll investigate in a second. Famous loss. Mm, nah, okay, we'll see what happens. It's fine. I'm, I'm sure we're, we're all right so far. And then now we're going to do. I can just change to match. Right, so we're now moving to province. Okay, let's see what happens. So now we're just going to coalesce province and country. So we want province, then we want country, then it's going to be no data. And then we're going to merge region two from province. P. So hopefully we shouldn't create a crazy number of nodes now. They should be getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, I realise what's gone wrong now. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board in a second. Maybe we're okay. Let's just have a quick look at what provinces we've created. I'm now saying. actually okay this is good i think we're fine do we actually have a no data one no data okay so some of, so we've got these where there's no country and everything that's fine that's good okay i think i'm feeling optimistic i'm feeling optimistic let me just take a copy did i take a copy of this query the province no i did not let me just take a copy of that the last but not least it's province to country Okay, so we're going to steal this line. So now it's going to be a match. We are then going to, that's going to be our coalesce. I can just copy the whole, you know what, just copy the whole line. It's relevant, I just update it. I'm going to do C country, and we're going to coalesce country and that. Perfect. So we are then going to do, this is going to be a merge, and we are going to be merging province to country. 
and this shouldn't be I hope this should only create I think one node maybe one node I reckon so oh hang on where's my match gone oopsie daisy province and I'm gonna say um province one country Okay, right, I'm going to re-hit really this up, province, country, oh, it should be a merge. Okay, right, let's see what happens. And again, if you've got any questions, if you've just joined in and you've got any questions, it can be related to this, it can be anything graph related, pop them in the chat, keeping an eye, and I'll do my best to answer them. So... Let's take a quick paste of that query. There we go, like I said, one node, that's going to be the node data. So now let's see what's happened. Let's let's go back to some of our queries where we had those crazy things going on. Got to close so many windows. Right, so we had that crazy number of, well, actually, we know we, there's not going to be no region one, so we get rid of that. It's not applicable anymore. So I think here, if we say where our name is equal to r2.name, now we start getting some interesting stuff. So let's see what happens. Oh. Unexpected. Ah. Well, that should not be the case because we did. What have, what's gone wrong here? Oh dear. Let's. Dare I look at the schema? It's fine. It's not too difficult to change the models. Uh, so what's happened? So we have got... Okay, that's correct. Wine from province. And then wine, we've got region one. Re oh no. Where's province gone? Oh. Oh dear. So, you know, we did like region two to province and province to country. So we've done, something's gone a bit wrong here. We Did we forget to do region two to, I think we have, haven't we? That's all right, it's easy fixable. So let me just have a quick look at what did we do? Hang on, let me share this screen here so you can see what I am looking at. So this is me. Well, this is where I'm writing stuff up, and okay. So what did we do? Right. So we did. We joined wine to region one. Great. We then joined region one to region two. Great. We then joined. What well, we should have joined. Region one to region two. So what's happened there then? Oh, oh no. Uh, that's what's happened. So what you're going to find is we're going to find a bazillion nodes in our database. Well, not a bazillion. A number of nodes in our database that will have no, no label, no nothing. So let's take that one because that's what we need to rerun to connect things again and i don't think that's going to, that's not going to be a problem for us so that's all good so that that's what's gone wrong so let's switch back over to the uh 
to the browser. And so let me just give you, you're going to see a node here where it's got like no labels. Oh, you can see this. So what I do is if I can do something like, um, I can do this actually. If I do match n return uh, labels n count star. So what this will do, so label says give me all the label node labels for the nodes, and n count star is give me a count of all the give me a count of everything. But because we've got this labels, it's going to split it out by label name. So you're going to find we've got one nodes with no labels. And we're going to have some of them. So there we go. Look, there we go. I, I created 6,534 nodes with no label. They're all orphan nodes. Well, they're orphan. They're connected to regions. But let's quick, let's let's fix that. And then we're going to get rid of those. And we'll, we'll show you how to get rid of those. So, right. So that little fatal typo. So Cypher will allow you to do this. Cypher is not going to tell you you've done something wrong. Cypher will go, yeah, that's that's valid query. Totally fine. I'll do that. And then you're like, caught out. But it's all good. That's fine. We've spotted it. So if we run this now, the correct query, give that a few seconds, and we'll go back to the schema and then you will see, once that's finished, give that a few seconds, should finish the last bit of my cold copy. There you go, it's done. So if I go back to the data model now, look, there we go, it's now connected. It is chained up as we were expecting. So let's get rid of those orphan nodes. So remember we did that query here. So let's we did this query here where we did the, the nodes. So what we can do is where uh, just trying to remember how would we do it where it's not got a label labels n will give us an array Oh, let's think about this. I might, I might have to do a cheeky Google. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, let's do, I think, can I do this? So where label, where, um, so labels will give us the labels of a specific node, which would turn an array. And what we want to say is actually, I think we'll do this right. So we know we know that this here return is going to give us this. So it's going to give us a, an array with the labels and the and the, the, the size of those. So what I'm trying to figure out is how can we do the length of the total number of arrays? So I know we can probably use some kind of a, uh, a, a list function in this. I'm a bit flaky with those. Do I, do I feel brave in a go with them? Um, I don't really want to, because unwind doesn't really work. Oh, no, maybe I can. Hang on. No, let's let's try this. This is long winded, but I, I have a feeling it will work. So let's do with that um, labels n as labels and as c, and we want to keep n as well. Is that going to work? Let's just let's see what happens. I think this is going to do it on a node by node basis, isn't it? Uh, you know what? I'm going to Google. No, no shame in Googling. All right, let's have a look. Oh, there you go. Look, I should have just done this. Let's copy and paste this query and let's talk about what's going on in there. So.
so okay so no labels would be an empty array so that's fine that works for me so yeah what's going on here match all the nodes where labels end so that gives a label so if it doesn't have a label it means it's not going it, so I was, I was worried it, it would have like a size of one and it'd just be null but actually it's an empty array so that's what we're doing so we're doing the size of the array is equal to zero return n so i'm going to do a return count n because we can then compare what's going on in the previous query when we did the labels so we should see five uh, six five three four Six, five, three, four. Perfect. So now we can get rid of those nodes. So what we can do here is detach, oops, detach, delete, end. So that's going to detach those those uh, sad, lonely, empty nodes from the region two, and then it's going to delete them. So let's do that. And we've cleaned up our graph. Hey, right. Okay, so let's go back to that query we wanted to run, where which we discovered everything was a bit unusual. So let's run this again. And now we know it's all pommed in. We should get some responses. There we go. That's more like it. So what you can see is we've slowly been patching them back. And what you'll notice, you will have some of these where it's again, again, again. So these are the ones where we've started to fix them. So, OK, that's good. I think we're getting there. So again, for those of you who have joined us, so this is quite a long session. If you're just new, so we're just going through the wine data sets. If you've got any questions on this, if you've got questions on what I'm doing, if you've just got general Neo4j questions, fire them in the chat. And I will answer them and think, say hello as well. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're all joining me. And if you, you know, say hi, it'd be great. I'd be quite keen to know where you're all based. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're going to do here. So we know one of the things that we mentioned was that uh, we had some of these. The other thing we've said as well is that... The regions can appear across different things. So we need to figure out how we're going to measure those. The, the number's less crazy. So let's go back to numbers that we had at the start. So you know how we said we had these crazy number of regions. So here, so at the start, remember we said we had something like um, 5,000 with the pattern here. Oh, this was down to country now. This is down. Okay, so we've got these. So this is getting a bit cleaner. So... Oh dear, what next? So what I would like to know is if we ever look at the total number of nodes we've got for region one, region two, province and country, which conveniently we can go off and look at that previous. Oh no, I've got rid of it. OK, let's do that. And then what I'm curious to do. So I want to ask my first question is how many distinct region one, region two, province and country nodes do we have? And then how many unique nodes have we got if we bundled all, all of those together in one group so let's do that to begin with so i'm going to go back to my um, match n label that's the one we want because that conveniently tells us what we've got so let me just put down a question so how many so the thing we want to know is how many different uh, region province and country nodes do we have And then how many unique across all of them? Right, so let's have a look. So we have got a total of uh, region one nodes of 1610. We have got region two nodes. I should put these in order. Ah, well, we have got 1416 of province nodes. Province node. Oh dear, what's going on here? Province nodes. We have got four hundred and twenty-seven of country nodes. We have got forty-five. So how many do we have across all of these that are unique? So this is where we're going to do this nice little monster query. So we're going to do. We're going to match region one. Uh, 
region. We are going to map. Uh, I'm going to do that. This is probably not the most efficient query, but it's all good. Region two. We are going to get province. And we're going to get country. And then I am going to do a load of winding and unwinding and whatever else that we're going to do. So with collect, it should hopefully work. Is this going to do what I think it's going to do? Um, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Wait, so collect R1. I should do this in a row. So collect R1. Oh, that I've right first time. So R1.name. R2.name. Province.name. Country.name. In fact, what I can do is I just need to do this, I believe. So I'm just going to return names, and it's probably going to be big and scary, but that's fine. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And I think I just need to unwind this. So let's do unwind names as name, and then if I do return account name, let's just make sure this works. Well, I'm certainly making uh, the uh, laptop work for its uh, breakfast. Huh, maybe I need to rewrite this query. Uh, you know what it's doing? It's doing a Cartesian join. So that was a bad query. I'm going to kill that. The reason why it's doing it, because it's going to keep mapping these. So what I should have been doing is collecting them one at a time rather than being lazy. So let's do with R1 There we go, that's what's going on so like that, it should be a lot better. Right, so let's see. This should hopefully be nice and quick. That's the dream. Whether it's reality is a different thing. So it should be quick. So the fact that it's taking a little while is a bit concerning, but... Nah, it should have been done by now, so let's see why it's taking so long. Ha, huh. right, let's see how we're going to handle this. Uh, you know what I need to do? I need to use a union query. That's where I've gone wrong. So, union, union, union. So, bear one second. Cipher union. I was not thinking about this. And then union to the rescue. So, let's have a look at union. And so, what this allows us to do. So, this is kind of what we want to do. We want to co combine a bunch of different queries. And it's going to give us a... A list of stuff because that's what we want here so the only thing is is that i want to i think we can do this and it doesn't say it here so in the new version of cypher i should be able to sort of do stuff now it's not mentioned in here uh just trying to remember where i saw it so because previously in the old version of union you could only do uh the you could only return stuff and i don't i don't 
know about you, but I don't really want a list of names. I kind of want... Well, maybe I do want a list of names. So maybe I'm going to live crazy. Uh, let's do this with a list of names. And then we're going to go off and look at the one where I can do a with. And then do a bunch of stuff with it. So let's do that. So this is what I want. So I want to do this... Uh, this th this thing here because I don't want I don't want duplicates so I just do this union and it automatically weed out the duplicates which is what we want so that is what we're going to do so let's go back to my very long winded query we do return r one dot name union see conveniently this is already so I'm going to do return r what name so did I have to keep the one thing I couldn't remember do I need to use the same thing yes I do so the only thing with this is I have to keep referring to every, everything with the same uh, variable name for the description turn uh, what name I've made it I've made it a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing union Union. Name. Okay, right. So this will give us a all of the, the unique names and it should give us a count as well. So that's fine. So this is the sloppy way. And then let's go have a look in the docs about how we would do that. So, okay, so let's do some back of the... Uh, Envelope calculations. So you notice how quick that was, 13 milliseconds. That's kind of the speed I was expecting. It shouldn't have taken very long. So what you can see here is we've got a total of 1,630 records. But if you remember here, so for those of you wondering what I'm doing, I'm, I'm clicking around in the notepad up above. So here, if we tot up, the total number of different things we had, then we had 16, 10 plus 14, 16 plus 2, 427 plus 45. We've got a grand total of 3,498 different locations. So we've got a lot of duplication going on in our data. And that's just like the basic stuff. That's where the nodes exactly match. We're going to have a load of stuff where there's hyphens and things in there. So right, let's go and have a look at how we can do the withing stuff that we mentioned earlier. Because that is of great interest to us with regards to uh, being able to do something with that data and do some analysis. So let me have a look at... Uh, the new version of Union. So if I do, I'm just trying to remember what it was. I think we want to do... Mm, 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 mm. Let's do uh, Cypher Union with Post-Processing. There we go, that's what I want. Post-Processing Union. Oh, uh, no, I don't think I can do it, unfortunately, with my version, because I've got an old version of Neo4j. I know, clickable versions. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to use this, unfortunately, which makes me sad, but it's all good. Let's let's have a look. Um, I think it will complain, but let's let's just try it out just in case. So let's go back to the browser. Let's try a. What did we say the syntax was? Call match union match. All right, we can do this. Um. What did we union -y? We uh, I still did a return, yeah. Okay, so I could have just done this then. So call with um mm, 
num return num union with for as num return num and then what did we say we said ah, okay with num return num let's see does this work does this work or are you going to complain ah never mind that's okay okay so that's for the newer version of near for j i'm still using 3.5.x something i need to upgrade that database at some point okay that's fine we know from this that we have some interesting stuff so right what do we so we know we know we've got a load of duplicates we knew this already but we know there are some there is some significant duplicate stuff going on and the really interesting thing as well is we do have a lot of these sort of hyphenated ones as well. So let's go back to, let's go to region, for example. So I'm going to find all the regions where there's a hyphen. So where r.name contains some of these back so we have a bunch of these so like this where we go well actually that that's there's two different countries and that's a region so we've got to figure out how we're going to clean these up as well so a part of me is tempted to create a new node called location so let's go back to arrows oh i can reuse this so a part of me is tempted to do something like this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. This is going to be California. And a part of me is really tempted to do... Oh, I forgot to give this a thing, didn't I? Oh, no. Ah, must be a bug. It does not want to give it the name of a region. No, okay, I tried. So what I'm thinking we can probably do is maybe we should create a new node called location. And then call it USA, for example. And then what I'm thinking is what we can do is we have this node called location. And what we're going to say here is all of those different things. So province, uh, Region one, region two, etc., etc., etc. Let's call this uh, location. These are all the same nodes, and this is going to be name is going to be California. So what I'm thinking is we join all of these in. So this is going to be like a super dense node, but that's fine because we're using this for processing, so we're allowed. It's all good. Oops. This is going to be location again. And it's all the same kind of node. And then what I'm saying here is. is what we can start to do here is we can start to do some processing, data processing, because then we can start saying, well, everything's location. So we can start to find out where the regions have got the same name. And then we can do that trick that we've done previously where we tokenize the region name to then figure out whether we've got multiple regions and that kind of thing going on. So I think that will work. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna quickly nip away for a moment so i'm gonna get um i'm just gonna step away for about five minutes so i will be right back so hold that thought i'll be back in about five minutes so see you shortly
Hello everyone, I'm back. So, right, where were we? Oh my goodness, right, okay. So, yes, 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 we're gonna do this. So this, the, my rationale behind this is we can do a bit of clean up on the location anyway. So we're gonna do that trick where we, um, you know, we tokenize stuff. So you remember if we, if we look here, we've got all of these hyphens. So I think the French ones, we're gonna have to come up with some rules about how we're gonna tackle these. But we can probably split, we know that some of these are uh, separate or different locations. So we may end up with some, a few more new locations. Actually, no, we won't, because I bet we've probably got a, let's go off piste slightly and, and, and do this one here. Um, let's say, well, this contains uh, Columbia Valley. Or what name contains Walla Walla? I love that. I said Walla. Well, I'm gonna have to look that up later. Right. So I think we've probably got three entries here. We've got Columbia Valley, Walla Walla Valley, and then Columbia. Uh, oh 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 oh. Oh okay. I think we've got an even more interesting thing here that has appeared. We've got states. We've got the, the same name in different places. Well, that's not at all confusing. Okay, well, let's have a look where these are coming. Let's, let's do a bit of digging. Let's do a bit of digging. I, I, think, I, I think we can just give up on the plan of doing all the other stuff. We're probably going to spend most of this session playing with the location. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, from region two and let's go to province and let's go to yeah, province and let's do uh, we know these are all going to be oh, not points province we all we know these are all going to be in they're probably the usa aren't they so let's go province and let's return r dot name or t dot name t dot name right okay let's let's see what comes up uh for those of you who are joining us welcome 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 uh you know let us know where you're from if you've got any questions either about what i'm doing the wine data set or near for j in general just drop it in the chat and i'll pick those up as we go along okay so what we have got going on here we have this very interesting thing where, okay, so we've got the states, we've got, we've got the state names in here, which is interesting. We've got the, the other, the dreaded other pop, popping up, which is fine. We can figure out what we're going to do with that. And we've got the, the provinces, which are being the states. Oh, we've got a fun one here, haven't we? Because we've got this, we have the, so that's interesting because from a data perspective, if we were just merging these, then we would wrongly be saying that, for example, Columbia Valley, Valley would be to Washington and to, actually is Columbia Valley just, oh, it's just, Oregon. Yeah, yeah, so it can either be Washington or Oregon. So, okay, so in this situation, that's correct because they should be separate regions, so that's fine. So where it starts to become a little bit interesting is this one. I mean, we know it, it links to Columbia Valley, Columbia Valley, then Washington, but what would have happened if we just had that one and it didn't? So, okay, so that's a curious one to think about how we fix and what you do have as well so columbia so this is quite good here because columbia valley always points to washington and anytime we have a columbia valley here it's pointing to oregon other so that's going to be an interesting one to try and figure out how we fix that let's have a look at what other exciting ones popped up when we were looking at the uh, the dreaded hyphen Clare Valley Eden Valley 
Monterey County, Napa Country, Napa County, Lake County. Oh, I feel like we are going down a dangerous path of uh, all sorts of fun. Let's pick, let's pick the Monterey and Napa. Let, let's do that one, I think. Let's bring up this query again. And we want it to contain either Monterey or we want it to contain Napa. Monterey. Okay, let's make that a bit bigger. Oh, I didn't mean to make that one bigger. I want to make this one bigger. Yes, you can delete uh, relation, uh, lots of relationships at once. Absolutely. Okay, so what have we got going on here? We've got Central Coast, which I don't know how... Okay, that's a, that's a conversation to see how useful that is. It's certainly concerning if we have Central Coast across different places in the US, but we can have a look at that in a bit. So what we have here is a great fun bit of data. So we've got Monterey County, Monterey County, Monterey County, Monterey County, a bunch of counties. I don't even know what this means. I, a part of me is feeling quite quite frightened at the prospect of trying to pull pull apart this. I can see that some mistakes might be made. Uh... Oh my goodness. So what's interesting, for example, we don't have Santa Barbara on its own. So does that mean that? No, we do. So here we've got an interesting one. We can have the word county used a lot. A lot. So are we saying that Monterey and Monterey County are the same thing or, or different things? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be a bit of bit of thinking going on. Yes, Darren. So um, previously what I was doing, I, I did two things. So one of them was I was just attaching the nodes. So I wasn't I wasn't deleting the nodes. I was just deleting the relationships between the nodes. So I think you saw me splitting those up. And then the next thing I did was we, you know, we accidentally created those uh vacant notes for one of a better description so those ones we then yeah that's exactly what i did darren exactly oh my goodness so i tell you what this is going to be a fun one to to sort out here it depends on your definition of fun uh oh my goodness this 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 is the never mind the blends and the grapes this this is the really interesting one to try and resolve wow um amador so let's have, I want to have a look at amador as well what's this amador is amador yeah napa amador amador napa let's go to maps and let's go to amador county hello Oh, it looks pretty. I feel like I want to go there and have a look. All right, okay, so this is Amador County. So, so that's obviously part of California. So that's an area. Now we know, oh, I see with Santa Dora. So Napa's going to be a county. Where's, so, I don't, I don't think that's going to be a walking journey from here, to be honest. So Napa County's over there. Okay, so, 
Wow. Okay. So this, so what we've got here is we almost have to figure out if we're going to split these out and how we're going to do that. Not an easy one to solve this, not an easy one to solve. So, okay, so let's start with this. So let's start with pulling everything into one location mode. And then what we'll do is we will then think about how we're going to split these out and deal with them. So let's start with just creating location mode to begin with. So let's do that. Oh my goodness. Alright, cool. Let's quickly check the height of the MDMs. So we had, okay, so we only got 187 records within region one that have got height and meaning. And I believe if I copy this, what happens if I pop into Google Maps? Let's just have a look. Copy this. This is where we get fancy. I think we can always say that anything with a hyphen that comes from France is probably one place because obviously they, they, they tend to barrel the names. And we might be making a, a risky assumption that if it doesn't have an hyphen... Oh no! We've got Washington, Oregon because we didn't have enough excitement going on. We've got two... Is there Washington? Or is there more than one Washington in the US? Or is this just combining? No, there's only one. <laughs> I know, it's an exciting day and we've got, we've got so many fun things going on here. So I think that's okay. I think they're referring to two different US states there. So what's this? What happens if I stick this into Google Maps? So I, I think the French ones are fine. So if it's a hyphen and it's from France, then it's, it's fine. It's not two different places. If it's got a hyphen and it comes from the US, then it's probably multiple places. So we'll write out our assumptions. So this is like, I don't know what you're talking about. So if I do, okay, so let's pop this out. Uh, okay, so uh, Van Graham is in Austria. And is also in Austria. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I think France, we're gonna assume with a hyphen, it's a single place. If it's a hyphen and it's from any other part of the world, it is two different places or however many hyphens we've got. Okay, cool. Right, let's do this. So let's let's start with putting in our location node. So what we are going to do, we are going to do this one by one. So let's do our one region one. And then we are going to merge. Yeah, let's do it like this. We're going to merge it and then we can do post-processing later. So let's do merge L location. Name is going to be r1.name. And then ooh, and then we're going to create, we're going to connect the connection between. We are going to then do create um, r1 has location. Location, that's that's the easiest of the queries that we're doing. And I am going to, do I want to? I, this one I can create, this one can be a create. I'm gonna just string a bunch of statements together. So then I'm gonna do a match r2 region 2 and then i'm going now i do a merge so merge l location and i need to create an index for this as well so let me just quickly do that before i forget otherwise this will just go really slow after a while so yeah index oh, and it can be location name so good so far right okay so match merge 
name of our two dot name and then we're going to create our two as location location all right let's do the next one so match province Merge L location name province dot name create province has location location and then last but not least country so oops let's put match seek country merge l location name see that name and then we are going to create c as location Ooh. location okay that this should hopefully run. Oh, what did I miss out? Oh, ah, that's not enabled. So you can do more than one statement in a browser. You just make, need to make sure that you've got the multi like multi statement thing enabled. Okay, so that's that's all running away, and we should, based on our sums, have a total of sixteen hundred and thirty location nodes. So let's check this. Survey says, oh, we've gained seven nodes. I don't know what happened there, but okay, that's fine. Okay, so we have got the grand total of a significantly fewer nodes than we had of the, the, all the other various bits and pieces. It is all good. Right, okay, so let's tackle that pesky hyphen. So we're saying that if it comes from France, we're going to keep the hyphen. Otherwise, if there's a hyphen in there and it's not from France, it's like that. So let's have a look at how many hyphens we're actually dealing with in location. So oh, should we use this? All right, let's see what happens. Okay, not that many, not that many that they've got the hyphens in there. So what I'm gonna do is, let's bring country into this as well. So what we're gonna do is, So we know this is going to be a region or a something or a something node. Uh, how are we going to do this? So if it's region, so we can go this way. I'm probably going to regret doing this, but it's all fine. I, I'll say what I mean in a second. Country. Okay, so we know
So if this is region region one, then it's going to be if we go back to this diagram. Oh my goodness, that's such a long time ago. Uh, so okay, so we have created a new node off of region one, region two, province and country. And what we want to say is from region one, it's one, two, three hops. So if we say star naught to three hops to country, hopefully I'm not going to regret this. So we're just saying that because we've got a location node connected to either region one, region two, province or country, I'm just being a bit lazy and I want to get the country node so I can return the um, location name and where that location is. Let's see what happens. Famous last words. Is it going to... Uh, look at that. Uh, hey, high fives all round. So we turned 187, so we're returning more records than I was expecting. But that's okay. Uh, I think we're probably returning some duplicates. That's fine. Let's just do distinct. Okay, right, so we have France, Australia, so we should probably order these by country, actually. Right, so okay, so Baros, let's have a quick peek at these in the map, just to make sure that these we're being reasonably sensible with our assumptions here. So Barossa Valley is somewhere over there. And Adelaide Hills. As an example, let's see where that is. Yeah, so they're two different places, aren't they? Barossa Valley, Adelaide Hills. So, so we are... Yeah, we're confirming the thing like that. So Australia, I think these are all separate, separate, separate. Casablanca, Niagara on the lake. Oh no! Ah, it's not, it's not going to be cruising. Okay, so Canada. Okay, we can we can rule out Canada. We say if it's France or Canada, let's just write a note about this. So France, Canada. Chile, let's have a quick look at Chile. So are these different places or are they? Let's have a look. Oh, I misspelled Chile. Okay, it's a province, fair enough. And let's do direction to Casablanca. Not the one in Morocco. Okay, so yeah, so we can say like those hyphens are probably separate places. So we can see that Maple Valley, Maple Valley different valleys swinging around. So that's okay. France, we said, we just assumed they're all going to be. Yeah, look, you can see here. So whilst we've got something to do around deduping, which we have tricks around to do that, you can pretty much gather that those are the same place, aren't they? So we're going to assume with France that these are, these are, these are all places. So they just, you know, stuff gets hyphenated a lot. Dangerous, famous last words. Okay, we're just going to skip past France. Oh, I've got one. Let's try this one. We may have to do a one by one basis for some of these. Okay, so where's this? Oh, 
Yeah, that's kind of broken that one. Oh, so even France is not susceptible. I guess we're going to have to deal with France last, I reckon. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh no, Portugal as well. This is, the, the, I feel like we've just opened up this sort of Pandora's box of uh, location pain. Right, US, I've, I've got no problem splitting out the US. So I've looked whilst he's been tokenized. Um, Turkey, let's do, a quick, let's do a quick peek and see what happens. Uh-oh, right. Thrace. Oh, that's like, sort of, I just realised this is sort of, um, maybe that's, isn't Thrace really, oh, what, what? That's confusing. Yeah, because isn't Thrace in, um, I'm trying to remember what was the, I can't remember the um and it's oh, anyway I got I'm going on but anyway so that's an interesting one. All right, so we're gonna have to, so this is not as not what as it seems. So all right, so I reckon let's skip France and Canada for now. I'm yeah Portugal sorry Portugal all right let's do that let's just go crazy we'll skip we'll sk in fact let's yeah let's do that and let's see what happens famous last words okay cool so let's do that so let's do our little tokenizing trick so we've got location and then what we're going to do here, so we're going to match location. Let's just remind us, I'm going to just swipe the trick I did last time here. Uh, that's what I thought we had to do. Right in aim. So we're going to create, let's do the same thing here. So we're going to create an index on location name. Right, let's just run that now. go back to example and then we're just using the same trick here so I just rename the bits accordingly so match it's going to be our location with L I don't even need to use the APOC split I'm just going to use uh, I'm just going to use normal split Now what's going on here? Split L dot name, we're only splitting by the hyphen. It's not equal to actually not in. Uh, France and Canada. Names for each and then names. So close it now, and then we're gonna we're not gonna clean it. We just want and and we're then gonna merge location name back onto location. So we are keeping the consistency component of L, right, so 
start from the back. So I know that what we did. And let her rip. Oh, what have we done wrong? Okay. Where I did the knot. I put the knot in the wrong place. Again, if you've got any questions on what I'm doing on the wine data set or in the for Jane general, just fire them in the chat. For those of you who have joined, please do. Okay, so there we go. We have created many, many nodes. So, the key I'm intrigued here now is why have we got so many nodes? Curious. Um, have we uncovered a whole sleuth of new names that we did not know about? That is the question. Let's have a look. So let's pick one of these. Let's pick the. Oh, let's pick this one. Why not? Let's let's live life on the edge and all that. So let's do ooh, match. Patient name. We can do that. Return. And actually what I want to do is I want to do the whole lot. So we've got location and what direction do we put the location component? Okay, so it goes this way. So we want LC and we want to return. Oh, let's return, let's return a cool pretty graph. We like those, those are fun. Oh, I forgot I had them. Okay. Oh, that's. I think we've got Boo Boo here. I've, I've probably made another mistake, which is why it's not behaving as expected. All right, let's see what I've done wrong here. Definitely, it's gonna. It's one of those. Oh, I know what I've done. Sorry about this, everybody. I know. Hang on. Right. So, match our location where L's not in. So with L name split, that is names. Let's just quickly see what's going on here. This is very, very curious indeed. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. So it appears we've got a bunch of 
empty notes. So, oh, look, look, this is what I've done. I'll see, I'll end. I've done it again. I've done it again. So, merge location, that's why it's gone wrong. Okay, so I just need to get rid of some more orphan nodes again. That's right, it's the story of the, the, the day here, isn't it? Getting rid of orphan nodes. All right, it's fine. It's fast. All right. Okay. So let's look again. So if we do our little labels trick to see if we've got orphan nodes to get rid of. So match and return labels n count star. We should find some nodes with no label. There we go. Look at them. There's th there they are. So let's just get rid of those. Do we still have that query available? No. Okay, it's not a problem. So we said. We said size, didn't we? Where size labels n zero. So this should hopefully bring back those. Uh, bring back those nodes we need to get rid of again. Perfect. So Okay, all right, we've got those. So if we go back to our original query, okay, so now we should get two components. There we go. So, what are we looking at here? Let me put a bit of color in this. What we are seeing is the original location. So, remember, we said for location. We were going to do um, anything that was a region one, region two, province and country. We've combined them all into uh, into into a location node, and then now what we're doing is we're now tokenizing. So remember, we said there was a McLaren Vale and there was an Adelaide Hills in Australia. So we're just tokenizing them out. So what can happen now? If I now double click on location name, we'll find all of the different location places that mention this. So what we're doing here is this is giving us an opportunity now to, to um, add additional data into our, uh, into our model because now we can start saying things like, well, actually, should these be regions? Should these be provinces? Should they be something? But also, we can enrich further information about our graph. So this is actually quite interesting. So if I oh let's let's go crazy. Let me make this might even be a job for Bloom. Mm, let's have a look how we get on. So let's open up Adelaide Hills. So let me just colour these nodes so they're a bit more exciting to look at. Oh no, I'll pick it not that colour. Let's pick this. Okay, cool. So what you can see here is we've got a wine and we've got a wine that has uh, region one and region two of, of Adelaide Hill. So I'm kind of thinking if I double click on this, this is going to give us, yeah, so that's going to give us the country. So we've got uh, region two, province, country. And what you can see here is that we had the location of Adelaide, but you got to bear in mind that we had here, the situation you can look at the bottom is it's got two locations. It's got Barossa and Adelaide Hills. So if I, let's expand this one out and this is where it starts to get interesting because this one's gone again got the that's the location that we've pulled it from this is presumably it's not got the region but we do have a location name as well of uh, Ross which is you know which we split out so if we open this one out this is again coming back into Australia which is what we'd expect so this is now starting to get quite interesting but remember 
that they've come originally from this node here so you can start to see where we have this issue with the data and because we've done this tokenizing we can now start to unpeel what's going on here and find the connections so let's have a look at this one because these should all come to australia eventually so again here's another example of the novel adelaide hill so remember we've got a separate one here adelaide hills and then this one should also be australia so you can start to see how these are all linking together because we've done this piece of work so again this one's like a separate um the separate bell so again if i double click this this should take us back into oh no i didn't mean to do that let's just oh that's not done what i was hoping it to do oh let's rerun this query it's gone messy maybe i should do some bloom so let's break this out again so they should all come back into australia Okay, so our province node, we haven't brought out a province node yet, so it's going to come out of region two. So region two is our green one. So you can see they're all starting to link. So South Australia, they're all, they're all starting to link back into. So have we missed a green node? We've got, oh, they're all going into South Australia. So there you go. So straight away, you can see where they're all uh, linking back. So let's have a look at some of the other provinces that we've not expanded out. Oh no, those are, yep. You, you, you're starting to get the idea of here what's going on. So this was a location component there, so it can join onto this other location here. So you start to get a flavour. So these presumably are all going to link back to Australia. So this, yep, it's linking back. Yeah, so you can see these are these are all the different um, components mentioned here. So Langham Creek, Langham Creek, Limestone Coast, etc., etc., etc. So you can see what's see what's going on there. So straight away we've got a bit of interesting feedback from doing this activity. So yeah, this is cool. All right, so I think we've got a bit of thinking. So I think we've we've been running now. So we're going to do another half an hour of this, I think, and then I think we'll call it quits on this stream so if you've got any questions if you've watched if you've just joined in do drop in let me know what your questions are we'll pick them up as we go along so let's have a look uh, yeah see these are all these are all coming into the same province We let's let's go into Bloom for this actually. I think this would be a good this would be a good one for Bloom. So let me just switch over to my Bloom window. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new perspective for this. Right, so we were using McLaren Vale. Okay, so we had the it had the barrel name, so let's just uh, actually no, we weren't we didn't want the location, we wanted the uh, this one. Okay, cool. Right, that's what we wanted. So let me just get rid of this thing because it's confusing. 
Oh no, go away. Right, cool. Okay, so this is what we have got. So we talked about this. So this is the, these are our location names. This is what we've created. We created those two came from this node here. So you can see that they're all connecting into this one here, this McLaren uh, Adelaide Hills one. And then you can see where they're splitting out and straight away you can see all of the different location names that we had that mention those. So if I select all of these, Oh, my mouse is being a bit funny. I do apologise. And if we expand all of these, uh, is location, can, no, head location, that's what you want. So straight away, what you can start to see is the different places that they've come from, from the location. So I want to actually say, Region two is purple. So actually, should we, can I? I just want to expand the from province, and I want to expand the. do not oh yeah it's from country so you can see they're all coming from australia so right let's have a look at what's going on in here <coughs> so what's going in here so you remember so the yellow these are our region ones and so these videos you see all these double barrels this is what we were trying to tackle and we pulled everything into location so that's why we've got these mappings back to location and then what we can see here is if we look at province, which is purple, so just click province. They all come from South Australia, so I can't see it here just yet. There you go. So everything's coming back into South Australia. But you can't you kind of get the idea of what's going on here. So we've immediately found this sort of mishmash of different um, regions being used where we need to split them up and clean them up. So that's really, really cool. So now we've got to figure out what are we going to do about that. So we've discovered this. So what do we do about this newfound information? So oh, I think that's something I'm going to have to go away and have a bit of think about. So what I'm going to do, thank you very much for joining me this morning uh, or afternoon or evening, depending on where you are. So I'm going to be back on Monday at 4 p.m. UTC for our regular Adventures with Wine slot so i'm going to try and take away some of the learning experiments that we've done today and we can do a bit more of an ordered session then so thank you very much for joining me i hope you have an amazing amazing weekend and i will see you all soon have a good one bye